Okay. Welcome everybody, my name is Chris and today I'm showing you how you can save a ton of space, increase the performance of Lightroom, edit your previews in Lightroom and have a little backup as you go as well and that's all in one. So let's get going. You know that when your computer gets full and you have no space whatsoever left, all your raw files are just all over the place, you split up your catalog, you've got a complete chaos, disaster, whatever going on in your computer. I know that feeling and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So let's talk about smart previews. So what are smart previews? Good question, Chris. Smart previews are a sort of file that you can generate in Lightroom that generates from your raw files, it'll build basically another file that's a little sidecar file that sits next to the catalog and it's it's, it's, like a, it's like a preview, but a smart one, which means the smart part is that you can edit it, you can take it away, you can take your raw files away, you can detach your drive with the raw files, and you can still edit your catalog, create collections, use your Lightroom the way you would normally do. Now that's pretty cool. Now why would you use smart previews? They use way less space than your original raw files. So if you have your catalog on your computer and your raw files on an external drive, which eventually will happen because you get too many photos and everything just gets clogged up, and you can still use your catalog and work on it as if your raw files were attached. You can even export JPEGs, low resolution JPEGs, up to 2,540 pixels for those who wanna know. And because these files are a lot smaller, only a fraction of the size of your original raw file, your computer is having way more fun editing them. Your Lightroom will work much faster. You will be just flying through your edits in a much more efficient way. Because your smart reviews are sitting next to your catalog, but every time you are moving with your catalog, these smart previews will be traveling with you. You can just take your catalog, put it on a drive and plug it into someone else's computer and just be flying away on your editing and just work away. So your catalog basically becomes a lot more independent. You're not depending on all these external drives and raw files that have to be connected. What's the downside? Well, the downside is that you have to generate these smart previews. Lightroom calls it build smart previews. Well, you're gonna need more space. So you're gonna have to put those smart previews with your catalog. So your catalog ultimately, your catalog folder ultimately becomes a little bit bigger. But the advantages are just far outweigh this disadvantage. Actually, the smart previews are so small that you can just have them on a, on a regular laptop. For example, I have over 100,000 photos in my Lightroom catalog and only 70 gigabytes of that are my smart previews. That means I can access every single one of my 100,000 photos, edit it, put it in collection, even export it in a low resolution up to two and a half thousand pixels just from my smart preview and catalog folder, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. Yes, you have to render them, so it takes a little while. So when you import your photos, you basically have to wait a little moment for your smart previews to generate. But you know what, that's a couple of minutes and it doesn't really change the way you work on your computer. Now, the last thing I said, you have a little bit of a backup. What does that mean? Your smart previews are a low resolution raw file of the original raw file. It's just like a shrunk down raw file. Obviously it's not the same thing, but say all your raw files get lost, both your drives and backups and everything gets stolen or lost or burnt or drowned or whatever. Um, it means you still have those smart previews and you could technically re-render DNG files out of those smart previews um, into a new catalog. It's not the perfect solution, but it's an extra backup and I wouldn't complain about an extra backup. One of the great features is that if you reattach your raw files to your catalog, then Lightroom will automatically sync across those settings. You don't even have to bother with it. You don't even have to worry about it. It just fixes itself and all your raw files will have the settings that you've applied to your smart previews. It's almost invisible and I think that's a sign of a process that works really well and never ever fails, absolutely never. So how do you generate smart previews? You have two options. One, from now on, when you import your photos, you tick that little box, generate smart previews, and Lightroom will automatically do it every time you add new photos to your catalog. Two, you have to go back to your photos and generate them for the ones that you've already imported. And that is just select them all, go to library at the top, drop down to previews and select build smart previews. And for the next few hours, your Lightroom will be quite busy generating those. So I recommend doing that overnight. And the next morning you have a catalog with smart previews and you can just detach your raw files and edit away. So how do you recognize if the smart preview is there or not? Well, the easy way is just to detach the drive with your raw files and it'll be grayed out in the side, but you can still click it and open develop module 
and if you can still edit your photo, then you have a smart preview. The more efficient way to find out if you have smart previews or not is to go in the library module, press Command or Control F to bring out the search panel, then click on metadata and one of the drop down lists you want to be on smart preview status and you basically it'll tell you how many photos don't have smart previews and how many photos have a smart preview and then you can just go off and edit or build smart previews for the ones that don't have smart previews yet another great way to see if you have a smart preview generated for your raw file or not is to check under the histogram on the top right side and it'll say smart preview or raw plus smart preview that depends on if your raw files are currently connected to your catalog or not all right, that was it, my little hack for this week. I hope you start using smart previews. There is really no downside to using them and I've been using them for years. They've never failed me and I swear on them. And as so many people I tell about this that don't know about smart previews. So I figured I'd make a video and tell you about it. If you didn't know about this before, let me know down in the comments below if there's any other hacks, how you improve the, the workflow and the speed and performance of your Lightroom, then let me know as well. We can all share this information and learn something together. So. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notifications button, leave a comment below, and I hope to see you next week. Smart previews are a low resolution file that sits. <coughs> Smart. All right. Smart previews are low resolution DNG files that sit next to your catalog and basically mean that you can take away.